EA Sports, and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From the province of Alberta and Banff Springs Golf Course, live final round coverage of the Canadian Championship. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string four solid rounds together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field as she has been sensational so far. That a beauty safely in the fairway to get this Sunday round started. This has really been fun to watch. The evolution, the growth of an outstanding young player. And Noda now with a chance to win two in a row on the Corn Ferry Tour. What have you seen as you've watched the last couple of tournaments? Well, winning in consecutive weeks is about as common as seeing a $2 bill, which is you don't see it very often. And in this particular case, can the confidence garnered from that first win carry on to a second? And that's a good approach shot too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for Birdie. This one measures out to 15 feet. Got it there, but not quite on target. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Frank, how about the par three second hole? The first of five par threes the players will play today, Rich. This one's surrounded by bunkers, but uh, certainly one of the shorter par threes so with a good tee shot here, you can imagine you can easily get a putt inside 10 to 15 feet for birdie. Yeah, nicely done front right portion of the green and a look coming for birdie.
you look to the heavens here, that didn't need much more. That finished off for par. You were the second. And she's going to stay at 20 under. Frank, plenty of scoring opportunities in the early portion of this golf course. We're now at a par five, the third hole, and it's only 528 yards. You can see why we're going to see a lot of people perhaps being three under through the first three holes, Rich. This uh, par five bending to the right, very reachable. You just keep uh, that tee shot nice and high off the tee, let it carry as far as possible. Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Well within range from here, a second now to the par five. That one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Mm, the speed was right what you want, but the eagle putt doesn't go down. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. And she'll move it to 21 under for the tournament. Frank, when you play Banff, you, you get some of these wow moments where you stand on the tee and you say, Ooh, look at this. <laughs> this is one. Yeah, this is one of them, Rich. Yeah, that the elevation change from tee to green is uh, is quite dramatic. Consequently, going to have to club down a little. At least two clubs shorter than what that yardage says on the card. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And this is a nice, smooth right to lefter. This is the go zone. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And she'll hold tight at 21 under par. Back on the tee here at Banff Springs, fifth hole, 424 yard par four. What's the setup here, Frank? Well, it's very tempting to try and hit a draw because uh, that's the way in which the hole is shaped. But uh, the, main, the main goal is to make sure that you can take that second bunker, the one on the left side, out of play with that tee shot.
as that ball bounces into the rough. First fairway missed today. A touch long, a touch left, but still, how good can you pop? This will be a 14-foot putt here. They're perfect. It is in for a birdie. And she'll get it to 22 under par. Frank, the sixth here at Banff Springs is a, a good little hole, isn't it? It is very tempting, very easy to sort of uh, just stand up there and wail away with the driver and get caught. This is a generous fairway. You can hit any club down there and you're not going to have a problem with a second shot. So it's just trying to find a yardage that you're comfortable with. Driving's been sensation all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Really, it's a waste after that tee shot. Uh, just very average approach. Now this, for birdie. He does have a bit of an incline to navigate, but other than that, this shouldn't move much at all. Oh, needed just a little bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge. Safely in for par here at the sixth, and she'll remain at 22 under. Well, Frank, how about this hole? 602 yards of par five, although I, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. It's 602 yards these days for a long hitter. Uh, what do you say? A, it's a drive in a seven that, That's a <laughs> mid-range par five. Well, yeah, two woods, uh, the longer hitters will definitely get uh, at home there, especially in good conditions. But bunker down the left, avoid that, carry that, and then we can think about the second shot.
wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Okay, on the putting surface, but work to do from there. Got to at least try to cozy it in that three-foot circle. This for birdie. Close, couldn't ask for much more on that putt. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. Frank, you like this kind of design feature where you go from the longest hole in the course immediately to the shortest hole. Certainly, golf giveth and golf taketh away. Uh, this is just minimally uphill, just a couple of feet, but you can see from the overview the design of the green and that flag's on the right, it's a little bit of a longer carry, so just be a little cognizant of that. You don't have to hit it directly at the flag. Yeah, very good shot, taking it in right of the hole, and a good look upcoming. Just six feet left for the birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And she'll move to 23 under par. Now to hole number nine, 501 yards, it's a par five. Yeah, we finished with the third par five on the front nine. Uh, you're just gonna come through those uh, sort of shoot of marvelous trees that define this fairway. Just avoid the right side. Something down the left side is gonna open up uh, the second shot. Swing and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. 
Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Easy as can be, it's a tap-in birdie here at the ninth. And that'll mean this is a 32 on the front, four under par. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. And we are back on this beautiful day here at Bamp Springs in the Canadian Rockies. Set to kick off all the action on the back nine. The 10th begin with a par three, Frank, 218 yards. And I have no idea why this is called Little Bow, because over 200 yards, you really have to bow up with this tee shot here. <laughs> That's for sure. Bending there, you need uh, you need something that comes out of the gate very, very straight and uh, with a decent height on it as well. If you want to land on that left side of the green and make it stop. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. Uh, that didn't need much more, but it does come up just about a foot short. Okay, that one in for a bogey here at 10. But fortunately, this one still well in hand. On the tee here at the 11th hole, 417 yard par four. Is this a drive you like to hit, Frank? It certainly is, Rich, but it's a little narrower than what uh, your eye first sees. And the reason why there's a tree, sort of another 40, 50 yards down the right side past that bunker. So if you hog that right side, that tree can become a little bit of a problem for the second shot. This one working up the right side. Uh, it was a good tee shot, a little unlucky to run into the first cut. 
Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. Another example of her, her excellent balance and timing, and that's a good shot. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, and I think she'll have a good run at this one. It's ever so slightly up the hill with a hint of movement from left to right. It's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And pars to the clubhouse will do nicely as this remains a giant eight-stroke cushion. All right, on to the 12th hole, 442-yard par four. What do you like about this hole, Frank? Just a nice par four that sort of bends to the player's right. A lot of people will just stand up here, grab the driver. I don't really think you have to do that, Rich. The hole's not overly long. Just something short or down that left side. Um, you're only gonna have a short iron in for your second shot. Hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. Dialed in now for this second shot here to the 12th hole, Frank. A chance for another birdie, Rich. Uh, just be a little aware of this green. Uh, nice little rolls and contours and different levels. So just be aware of exactly where that flag is cut uh, today. And just try and keep it on that section. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss it, the middle of the club, by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Tell you how good that is to get it to stop where it did from that far away. That is a super putt. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And she's going to stay at 23 under par. Well, this is a good hole right here. Par 3, 225 yard, 13. Frank, what do you think? Well, it's called sulfur. Um, I can't remember what element that is on a periodic table, but the um, hardest thing here is not to figure that out, but figure out what club you're going to use. Just a fraction downhill, just over 200 yards. It does narrow up when they start to tick the flag in the back, but there's a nice fat target there, sort of those first two thirds of the green.
Mm, try to fly it all the way back there, but that'll be too much as it trundles over the back of the green. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. But fortunately, this one still well in hand. Well, here we are at the 14th hole. It's a par four, 442 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, but if you were spraying it off the tee here, then there's all sorts of problems. Bunkers left, trees right. Uh, this is a fairway you must hit. Solid, good drive in the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, her second coming up. Coming at it from 116. Player has to contend with this left to right breeze. Right at it with the sand wedge, coming in just over the pin. I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. A birdie putt, down to Iona. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And this lead, look at oh, so comfortable at this point. It remains at seven. Now to the 15th tee, and Frank, this looks like a fun shot to hit. It won't play its full yardage because of that elevated tee, but uh, a good crank, a good one out here. We might see one of those 350, 360 plus yard drives. Drive's not too bad. The problem is, drive's on the left, and that flag is cut short left. So three options, either respect it, go a little right, maybe just land it just over right next to it, or perhaps try and hit it beyond it and spin it back.
Ah, it's a good shot, but does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. Sizable putt from 16 feet. It is in for birdie here at 15. And this is now, if you can believe it, a seven shot cushion. Moving on to number 16 now, it's a par four, 414 yards. And Frank, what are we looking at here? It's another hole that'll favor a nice sort of high draw off the tee. It'll set up that second shot to a green that uh, has got several different levels on it. I guess it got the 90% air, but that ball actually went through that tree. Second shot, good look at the green. This one's looking good. Now, there's a good strike in there. Just a little left of the hole, but inside 10 feet. And that's about 50-50 chance on the PGA Tour of making a birdie. Did left. Mm, that's a letdown. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Now to the 17th, 374 yards, and Frank players might be licking their chops here. They certainly would, Reg. Bunkers left and right, but they can be carried with an aggressive tee shot. And it'll set up just a short on into a green that pitches towards you. Um, so maybe just a little bit underneath the flag with a second shot. And really a chance to uh, have a fast finish. Showing no signs of a let up here. This tournament seemingly under control as that's in the fairway here at 17. So after the big drive, this a short approach to the par four. And that's going to leave some work, but it'll end up okay. A look here for Birdie at 17. And if you've ever used a putting mat as a holiday gift, this is the putt. Slightly up a hill and dead straight.
Nope. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Here we are at the 18th at Banff Springs, 578 yard par five. Frank, did you like to finish a round with a par five? Certainly if I could birdie it, that's for sure. Um, and there's a good chance here at 18 you can, but uh, there's bunkers galore. They're all in play uh, for various standards of play. But the reward is if you can pump one down the middle of the fairway there, and then you reduce this par five to simply a drive and an iron. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. Normally they stick a tee in one end and a flag in the other. You advance the way. But that second shot on this par five, that completely took the green out of play. Airmail. That is a big mistake. Oh man, absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. Well, that wraps up another round here at Banff Springs. Frank, what caught your eye today? Just the gorgeous scenery, Rich. Golf course not overly long, but uh, not often we get north of the border in, uh, in just an idyllic part of the world. We saw plenty of great shots out of the course today, and we're looking forward to getting back to the action soon.